The morning of the preliminary classes for the Wind Star Showing Association Extreme Mustang Makeover dawned bright and sunny. We were really fortunate that this part of the competition was taking place at Steve's farm, where our Mustangs have been living for the past three months. So aside from some last minute bathing and breeding, we didn't have much to do. Since the classes took place in the afternoon, Hannah, Emily, and I went up to the cafe at Silverglade Manor for some lunch before the competition started. Once we got back to the farm, it was time for the first class, handling and conditioning. Next in the arena is Ellie Falkenboom and her Mustang, here where the sunbeams are green, a five-year-old mare from the South Cliff HMA. Ellie is a professional horse trainer specializing in using gentle training methods and listening to her horses. She has worked with feral horses before, but this is her first time fully training a Mustang. Our next competitor is Hannah Stormwalker with Silent Sparrow, a four-year-old mayor from North Harvest County's HMA. Hannah specializes in show jumping and eventing, and Sparrow is the first Mustang that she's worked with.
After the adults went, it was time for the youth division. The youth competitors had the same pattern for handling and conditioning as the adults, but they were judged separately. And our final youth competitor for handling and conditioning is Emily Smithson and Music of the Night, a yearling mayor from the South Carlos County's HMA. After handling and conditioning, it was time for the trail class. Now entering the arena is Ellie Hawkins and here were the summaries of the Unfortunately, the camera cut out twice during the preliminary classes, and Hannah's trail class and my maneuvers class were sadly not recorded. Sorry about that. 
Uh, Hannah received a score of 33 out of 40 in trail. Our next competitor is Emily Smithson with Music of the Night. Since the camera cut out for my maneuvers class, we'll just go right to Hannah. Orchid and I received a score of 46 out of 50. Next in the arena are Hannah Stormwalker and Silent Sparrow.
Since the youth competitors work with yearlings and therefore don't ride, they don't compete in the maneuvers class. Once the preliminary classes had finished, we received our final total scores and found out who would be moving on to the freestyle finals. Orchid and I had a score of 118 out of 130, and Hannah and Sparrow were just behind us with a score of 117. Emily was leading the youth division with a score of 75 out of 80. The competition was extremely tough, and I was honestly a bit shocked with how well we placed. Hannah just missed the cutoff for qualifying for the freestyle finals, but Orchid and I were fortunate to secure the last spot. As a youth entrant, Emily will be doing the freestyle regardless. It's been a really good, but a really long day, so I should probably get some rest. I'll be posting a video on our freestyle soon, so make sure to keep an eye out for it.